Hi guys. <clears throat> Today is Monday. I was going to do a vlog when I got home from Mum's last night, but uh, I got rather sidetracked. I started doing one, but got rather sidetracked. So, I'm going to do it again. Pardon me. Uh, yeah, I went to Mum's yesterday. Uh, didn't do a lot over there, as normal. It's sort of a chill out day for me when I go over. Um, I didn't take the doors. Uh, so they're still here. Still here, waiting to be cut up. In fact, I'll get the hinges off and I'm going to move those because I'm getting pissed off and tripping over the damn things you hear in the hallway. So uh, what I might do is just take the hinges off and just go stack them in front of that closet door. Uh, I've just got to finish doing what I was doing in the lounge. Then I can... Um, bring the BMX in, I'm just going to clean it up, uh, yeah, get it cleaned up, get a tube re replaced in that back wheel, that's good to go, and get that bicycle that's up this corner, probably out on the landing, out of the way, once I've just uh, double checked it, because I've got an offer on that, and I accepted it. I put it up on eBay, 15 quid or buy it or um, best offer, and someone offered a tenner, so I took the tenner. <laughs> Just got to arrange um, collection. That's all. But, uh, yeah, I started uh, dismantling some buildings, so I'm going to finish that off, get that mess cleared up, get the BMX in here and uh, like I said just give it a clean down and uh, tube in the back wheel oh and when I got home last night there was a um, a large wooden wall unit sitting at the end of the block of flats uh, it was complete all the glass doors and everything was there I, um, and if I had more room up here I'd have uh, bought it upstairs because it would have been a nice cabinet to have but I didn't have the room but it did have some lighting on it um, so pretty much taking a wild guess I suppose that it was going to be dumped and I was right and I'll tell you why I was right in a minute I pinched the lighting off of it uh, one of them is actually broken anyway the switch is broken I don't even know where that is at the minute but, uh, oh, I've got this as well. It takes two of these strip light bulbs. Those ones actually came with it. 30 watt max, and uh, when I get a chance, I'm going to stick it up under here. Because, obviously, my table is going to extend through here. I don't know, down to about here somewhere, I suppose, with them two boards. So I'm going to need some light this end for when I'm working on the diorama, mo model, whatever you want to call it. So I'll stick those up. And uh, anyway, when I went down this morning, so I had to go to, uh, where did I go? Sainsbury's. Couldn't remember if I went to Sainsbury's or Littles for a second, but um, I noticed the cabinet had been broken up and piled up neatly at the end of the flat. And uh, I went down a little while ago, and I don't mean taken apart, I mean busted up, smashed up, pulled apart, you know, ripped apart, not carefully taken apart, so there's bits everywhere, broken bits everywhere, so I rescued a couple of planks from it that I could make use of. Uh, and then I went down 
about 10 minutes ago well, not a bit longer than that because uh, I've actually been round by the doctor's surgery to put in my repeat prescription and to check out Skip that a friend mentioned but it was just full of rubble I was hoping there was going to be some wood in the Skip he saw but if I could say you know if I could get it for free and save it from going to landfill then everyone wins <laughs> anyway I've noticed it all gone every bit of it had gone so I'm guessing whoever dumped it there and smashed it up has uh, taken it down to the dump or the recycling centre or whatever you want to call it uh, I don't think wood actually gets taken to landfill thinking about it that goes in a separate container which I believe goes to make the sort of chipboardy shitty wood that these cabinets are made from wood there why is that all dark? there we go just gets ground up and made into this sheets of this and this and oh, there's a better example a bit of light too much light reflecting here that stuff this will do for what I want it'll do to go in there I'm just on a hunt for some wood I can use so I can uh, get on with it and get that bit done but I suppose I should put the lights up there before the table goes in that would make life a lot easier I'll just plug it in over there because uh, when I get round to redoing all the lights on here that I had before and plus any extras I'll be changing the power supplies anyway because they were getting rather hot after uh, being left on but I know what power supply I can use I've got plenty of old PC ATX power supplies they've got a 3 volt line or rail on them so that should be more than enough to run what I've got to run the bubbles might be a little bit dimmer than they should be but they still glow enough anyway <sighs> actually I was watching um Vlogging Life's vlog from yesterday, that he put up yesterday. And he was talking about all the ghosties and ghoulies he gets in his house. Opening and closing cupboard doors and the bedroom door. And well, believe it or not, I've, I have experienced odd things going on in this place. Uh, some of the weirdest things, not for a long time, but... Um, I remember one summer so yeah keep in mind the time of year it's summer there's no wind outside at all it's a complete still night as it uh, commonly is in summer you, know, you might get a light breeze now and again but uh, and I'm lying in bed and this is round about 2, 2.30 in the morning and actually nearly everything like this that has happened in here has happened around about the same time um, when that bedroom door suddenly slammed shut because I sleep with the door open mainly because of him because he likes to come in here and sleep on the bed and his cat tray is out there so uh, yeah and I mean it slammed shut if it slammed any harder it would have gone through the door frame and out the other side and it was so quick it wasn't like someone grabbed it you got to keep in mind as well friction and even before I smashed the door even on the old door it's just the way the floor I think must raise there because even on the actually I think the first time it did it I didn't even have this carpet down that was different but there's always been a rub round about there on the floor no matter what carpet I've had in there no matter what door I've had up there but uh, yeah even with that friction it's still the speed I couldn't believe it and I can't still can't explain it and uh, the other thing I've had happen very recently in fact last week is um, right down the back here there's a chunk of Lego I don't know if it can be seen, but I'll get the camera down there. Yep, see it? 
Now I knocked that down there because it was on here with a minifigure, a little Lego minifigure, which is... If I can find a car, he's sitting in a car. Well, he must have gone for a drive because I can't find him. <laughs> he was here earlier because I moved him off the table. Oh, there he is. Right. And he was sitting on here, right there. Ooh, his hair just fell off, like that. With that brick, with that Lego brick that's down about. And there was a harvest spider sitting on it, so I just went boink and knocked both him and the Lego brick down the back there. Now I'm not kidding. I haven't had this desco since. Well, the last time I had this desco was before I knocked this off. Because uh, usually I leave things laying down the back there when, um, or until I do the sort of like monthly pulling out of the computer desks and clean underneath because it does get rather grubby under there. But uh, I was actually sitting here one morning and I actually noticed that somehow, and I know damn well I didn't go under there to get it, that he was sitting on the desk. So unless I'm going absolutely fucking gaga and did pick him up and put him on there and totally forgot or that's what I was looking for a ghost did it <laughs> I have found other weird things and I can't think of them all at the minute though but I think this one though is more most likely I picked it up and forgot I'd picked it up maybe it was just under the edge here I don't know but I don't remember at all picking him up at all I can't bugger I'll sort his head out in a minute <laughs> trying to get his hair and his head on straight with one hand isn't easy <sighs> uh, I have heard the odd weird noise going on late at night and you might think oh it's the cat but I do think of that and every time I check to see where the cat is, he's always been beside me. So I know it's not the cat in the other rooms making noises. But dang it. Long life isn't the only one. Could all be easily explained. You know. I do believe in the supernatural and ghosts and whatnot, but I'm not naive and I don't think that everything that happens is a ghost. Well, you can't really believe everything you see well, on YouTube and on TV because editing is so easy nowadays. It's usually obvious, though. It is usually pretty obvious that something's been edited. But uh, unless you're a video expert and you know how to pull apart videos and do various tests to see if it was uh, an effect added in after the footage was taken, then... Uh, you can either believe it or you don't believe it. It's just one of them things. Wow. I don't know if it's going to come up on camera, but... You see that flashing in that car? It's this really bright red LED light. I think it's an LED anyway, but it's just pulsating on and off. Never noticed that. That car is always parked there because I think think they work at the CAB office over there. But I've never noticed that red light unless it's something recent they've had installed, a burglar alarm or something. Car alarm. Not that anyone ever pays attention to burglar alarms or car alarms because uh, they have this nasty habit of going off by themselves or being triggered by insects, dust, dirt, <laughs> moisture, anything like that can sometimes cut some car alarms are so sensitive even a, a lorry or something just rumbling past will trigger the damn things. But, uh, yeah. 
and it shouldn't take me long just to sort that BMX out. So that'll be done, sorted, and up for sale. But, uh, and it's a bit windy today. <coughs> It probably wasn't one of my best ideas to go cycling out in it. <sighs> oh, actually, on my way down there, I couldn't believe this. You've got to keep in mind, it's now quarter past five, and I left oof, about 4.30, 20 to 5, something like that. And... Uh, I don't get far, I get about halfway to the doctor's surgery and there's like a little, what we call a mini roundabout. Traffic is heavy because it's that time of day, you know, everyone's leaving off work, leaving college, etc. So traffic is pretty damn heavy. And I see a group of kids, 10 years old, something like that, give or take, and they're on their little scooter things that they like to play on over on the skate park and, uh, they're all over the road. No lights, no high vis gear, and it's getting dark, so there's no reflective gear or anything on them. There's all this traffic about, and they're all running all over the fucking road. I mean, how dumb do you have to be? But what makes me laugh is parents let their kids do that. And if a car driver hit one of their kids, they will then blame the car driver. Oh, it wasn't my kid. My kid would never do anything like that. <laughs> Try teaching your kids a bit of road sense. Actually, tried being a parent and teaching your kids lots of things. Might actually help and make this world a better place. But anyway... <laughs> I know some people might call me a hypocrite because I was on the footpath, but there was a guy walking in front of me, so I wasn't going any faster than walking speed. And to be honest, in my opinion, a bicycle going at walking speed is no different to a mobility scooter, scooter rather, going at walking speed on the footpath. And before anyone says, well, bicycles aren't allowed on the footpath. But if we actually do a bit of research and look at some very old British laws, nothing is actually allowed on a footpath except pedestrians. Everything, in short and in layman's terms, it basically says anything other than a pedestrian on foot is prohibited from the footpath, which would technically mean mobility scooters should be on the road not the footpath. <laughs> yeah. So, to me, a cyclist, so long as they're keeping walking pace, or not, you know, not riding down a footpath like Stark Raven Lunatic, on speed, and I don't see what the problem is with it, <laughs> and as long as the footpath is wide enough, and so long as they give way to pedestrians, because obviously it's technically a footpath first, so pedestrians would have right of way, which is why I stayed behind the guy. I know it slowed me down quite a lot, but that's how I work, that's how I think, that's how I feel. <laughs> that's how I, how I, how I. Damn it! I want to go to the little vegetable stall across town and the sort of roadside stall that someone runs. And oh, what a bag of potatoes! I forgot. Mind you, it would have taken me ages to get up there with this wind. <laughs> It'd have been great coming back, and I had a back wind <coughs> and downhill. Well, the bike is working fine. I do need to tighten the handlebar or the headset a smidge. <laughs> Literally a smidge. There's a teeny bit of play in there, but not really anything to worry about urgently. But uh, when I remember to take my hexagon keys down with me, I'll uh, just give that a quick tighten. 
and uh, where I had to tinker with the gears to set them up for the new wheels because sometimes they can different wheels they might because of the spacing they may shift from side to side a little bit which will obviously throw out your free wheel alignment so but I've got all that lined up now it's not dropping down the gears as smoothly or as nice as I'd like but they are working I think that's just me being nitpicky Okay. I did have to adjust the, the screw, stop screw on the back of the derailleur because uh, the number of times I'd shifted to first gear and the chain dropped off the top of the, or off first gear and between the wheel and the free wheel, or between the spokes of the wheel and the free wheel. Surprised it didn't get snagged, which is what you don't want to do because then that will damage your spokes and buckle your wheel. And so uh, before I actually did that, I decided to adjust the screw to stop the derailleur going too far up and dropping the ch chain down where I didn't want it. So that's what them two adjuster screws are for on a derailleur. I set it up so the derailleur will only move between the gears. And of course, if you adjust them, you can adjust them for different size free wheels, you know, five, six, seven, eight, nine, whatever. Although they do say you are supposed to use the proper designed derailleur, but I've got them to work. Granted, they're not as easy to set up. In fact, sometimes they can be a right bitch unless you, you know, if you don't use the right ones, but it's possible if you're patient. <coughs> well. I'll say the time was now. About 25 past. I might go for a little wander later tonight and see if I can find any scrap wood laying around somewhere. In a bin, in a skip, or whatever. I'll go for a walk later, whatever. Then again, I might not. I might just sit in here and laze around all the evening. Playing with Lego. <laughs> <sighs> I've really demolished one building, so I've I'm sort of two thirds of the way demolishing the second one, then I've got to build something. Don't know what I'm going to build yet, I'm going to build something. I was going to build another medical center, wasn't I? And I was probably going to stick it up in that corner. I don't know, not right up in that corner, but close to the corner. What? No, actually, I might bring it for. Oh, I don't know. I'll find somewhere to put it. That's why I want the other um, table done, really, so I can uh, decide where I want buildings. Anyway, I'm going to disappear and I'll come back later. Oh, actually, I just thought of something. Are we recording? Yes, we are. Good. Um. <clears throat> been um, debating with someone we'll say on YouTube me and this other guy because well basically it's a video where someone's um, shredding iPhones and he just called it he just left the comment saying unsubbed waste of money well it's the YouTuber's money. Unless they were donated, then it's the person's money who donate the phones to him, so who cares? It's not his money. Why worry about it, you know? That's what basically said. And then someone who clearly doesn't speak English as a native language left a comment to him. And he just bluntly turned around and said, speak English, which I thought, well, that's rather asshole -ish and you know, racist maybe it could be considered, and uh, to which I then replied, you know, picking out on his own grammar mistakes, spelling was fine, it's his grammar that needed, needed work, and then he just got abusive towards me and a few others, and he was just really being abusive for no reason, and a complete asshole. but he couldn't see that he was being an asshole. Now, as far as he was concerned, no one else had a right to reply to his comment. 
Well, I hate to say it, but the comments are there. For the viewers, aka public, to leave a comment. And there's also the reply button. If you don't want people to reply to your comments, you can change your settings. Otherwise, if you're going to post an asshole comment out in the open like that for the public to see, expect someone to call you out on it. Now, I wouldn't have had a problem with him, really, if it weren't for the... Um, abusive comments. I mean, he left one on one of my videos, actually. Or was it a fatty fuck or something or other? Fat I can't remember. I deleted the comment because I can't be fucking asked. Can't be asked to whinge. Can't be asked to fucking reply to comments like that. I'll just get removed. Because there's no need for it. If I'd have done something that really warranted it, like started verbally abusing him, then that would have been a different story. Then he'd have been well within his right to verbally abuse me. <laughs> but I hadn't. I hadn't once used any verbal insult on him. I just made a point. That his grammar wasn't that much better than hers. So, you know, pot calling kettle black kind of thing. But nope, he threw a hissy fit. Uh, but yeah, I just thought of that and wanted to mention it before I finally put the camera down so I will now be back later well put the light up I've just got to put the plug on the end of the cable which is uh, my current task because so I had to cut the plug off to uh, get it off the cabinet so To do that, just got just a pressing cord grip on this instead of the usual two screws. Now, where did that bounce off to? That was my live connection, so I've got to find it. Is for now. Cutters is what I need. For a minute. Take the neutral pin out. Might as well take the neutral pin out out of the way. Otherwise it'll just fall out anyway. Measure up the earth wire, it's got to be earthed, metal base. And we'll do the live in a moment. I don't think this light was put on the cabinet in the factory because this isn't. factory fitted plug either that or someone's replaced the plug but uh, if it was factory fitted the ends of the cable would have been tinned and the re remnants of the wire I took out of this weren't they were actually far too long and this plug also had 13 amp fuse in it when it should have ha should have a 3 amp fuse so I don't think this was um, factory fitted snip a little bit more insulation off of that I like to bend the ends over, that's how I like to do it. Like that. Push 
neutral wire into the neutral contact. Screw, screw down. Because eventually, I can't do it tonight, it's too late to um, bang clips in the wall. So I'm not going to clip the cable to the wall tonight, but I'll show you where it's going to run in a minute. There's a lot of military plane activity tonight. They're training uh, apparently from RAF Lake and Heath they're doing some night training from. Right, I can pull that down a bit and that goes in there. You know, I often talk to myself as well when I'm doing things like this. if I have. Let's take that out for a minute. That should be all right actually. Just do that. Come up down a bit. Another plane going over. It's a crappy night to be training because it's windy as hell out there. But I suppose they fight in all weathers, so I suppose they train in all weathers. And that is some strong wind, gale force winds again out there. So at the end of the war I pulled out the plug. Far too much uh, insulation removed from the wires for it to be factory. And like I said, if it was factory that would have been tinned. But uh, it don't matter, it, you know, we're still all uh, legitimately done, I suppose we could call it. There weren't a lot of uh, wire showing in here, which is good. And this light was earthed, and everything was all as it should be. Maybe the plug got broken at some point, so someone replaced it. Anyway, what I'm going to do... Try and step over. Plug this in going to pick you up. Nothing yet. Eee. We have light. There should be uh, plenty of light. Oh, I haven't looked for the um, LEDs yet. Yeah, that's all I've done. I've got this here, so if I want to connect another light to it, I could. I'm just going to clip that along there and then along the shelf and along to the socket. Uh, not tonight. <laughs> I don't think my neighbours would appreciate that banging around at, uh, where is it, quarter past eight? If I want to look for some LED lights to go in here. Hmm. I'm actually quite cut this stone cold. Right, so that's that job done. I just literally put three screws in there. I could have put four, but three was is holding it up there steady enough, see? It's not moving. It's a bit awkward to get the bulbs in and out, but I'm sure LED versions of those bulbs are available. Right. Uh, job done. Need 
Mortimer has just thrown up somewhere. And the way he was coughing, I would have said that was a hairball, but where has he thrown it? Is that your shadow I can see in the bedroom? Yeah, it is. Usually I let hairballs dry, because then I just pick them up off the floor, you know. But, uh... He's done it right in the path to the bed, so I'm going to have to clear that one up. Bless him. Uh, oh. Knocking things over. Right. It's going to make some room. I'm just going to put it there again. Let me just turn the light on. Turn this light on. Turn the loud one off for a minute. You're staring at the lens of the Kenyans of Manchester, England. Road lamp, as we call them here. Or also known as a barricade lamp. Which uh, you've probably seen when I've done my... Uh, well, nope. You have seen if you've seen my uh, barricade lamp videos. This one's got 72 lamps, 72, so I don't know if that's the number of lamp made, or... But this has also got the date on it, 1963. Now, I remembered that this had a fair bit of paraffin in it when my mum and my stepdad last used it in a power cut. Um, that's all they had. They don't didn't have any electric torches or anything at the time, so... So, uh, figuring that that, that is re not really going to be used again, apart from ornamental purposes, I've drained the paraffin out and I've put it in my burner on this. Now, you probably just saw that there is one in the lounge, not the lounge, in the bedroom, but that one does not have a wick in the burner. It's got a little bit of paraffin, but no wick. So what I'm going to do, we'll see what this is like. I'm just going to... I'll get a fucking match to light, that is. I have got a lighter somewhere, but I don't know where it is. Let's try the other striker board on the other side. Well, that worked there. Maybe the striker board's a bit... A bit duff. Anyway, there's our little lantern. Got the little uh, thingy on the side here so I can adjust the brightness. Turn that right down for the time being. Now someone has done their own hand painted job on this. With a paintbrush, because I can see the brush strokes. This may actually... I just... Uh, Turn the leads on for a minute. You might be able to see the br brush strokes. I know you said the breast strokes. Just got to lock the but now with this design, there wasn't the ability to put a padlock on there. Because the one drawback with these was... Some of my mum and my stepdad and a lot of other folks of their age. They would have been... Oh, that would have been kids when these were used. They said what people used to do is uh, open them up, pour the paraffin everywhere and set fire to something. So, actually you can't quite see that. So, I'll flick the light off. I've got the LEDs on. Let's turn those off. So that's what it's like with the flame on low. So, uh, if I just... I'll turn this around. All three lenses are the same. That's the most common colour of lens I've seen. Dorman, when Dorman made lamps like this, they did orange lenses. So I'm just going to increase that a little bit. Let's see how... There we go, nice and bright. Just close the door, latch it, stick your padlock on, and that would just hang at the roadworks like that. It's actually quite bright for a little flame, isn't it? 
Now, I don't know how long that sort of burner could run for continuously. I don't know that much about them. I just saw this at a car boot sale not last year, the year before, 2014. And uh, it was cheap. <coughs> they only wanted um, £10 for it. So uh, I snapped it up. Because <laughs> um, that was cheap. If, I, if you look on eBay at lamps like this, you wouldn't pay much less than £20, even for one in worse condition than this. That may need them um, restoring. I could probably um, sell that for a, at least three, you know, three times what I paid for it if I wanted to. So it's not a bad little investment, that I don't think. E reflective gear. I always wear one of those this time of year when I'm riding a bike. I've started to go a bit funny on this one, the reflective strips, but they're still reflecting pretty well. At least when I look through the camera, I'm not as good as these ones though. The zip's not very good, and these aren't actually that expensive. I don't know, about £20 for a brand new one. Any who's Let's turn the light back on in the lounge. There. Turn the lights off on the camera, I don't need those on right this minute. Still got to find a way to bolt that, well, maybe not bolt, but to fix this thing to this thing. <laughs> I still haven't um, figured that one out yet. I did think about a U-bolt that might go through those holes and then around, uh, it's not quite wide enough is it? You fucking asshole. Um, I'll think of something eventually. I've just got to rack my brain enough. Oh, should we see what these lights are like in the dark? There are only two um, 30 watt lamps. And you can still buy those, actually. I can still get those in the shops in town. Ooh, that's actually... Uh, well, it's not good enough to light the lounge up, but it's a nice little lamp. That's probably the equivalent of running a 60 watt filament light bulb, as that's 230 watts, so it's 60 watt total. That's my little LED emergency light, should power go off, because my lights have flickered a couple of times in this wind. I don't know why, because we've got underground cables. That's what really surprises me about watching so many American videos on YouTube when they're out and about in the streets and they've got all these uh, <laughs> all these power transformers and whatnot up on utility poles and I'm thinking well, we don't have that over here, it's all underground except in the countryside in a town like mine and sea, underground countryside still mostly above ground um, but I think eventually the electric company wants to bury them. Because so many go across farmland, they've got to go deep. So uh, machinery doesn't go through them. Because some of that machinery does go into the ground quite deep. So I can't remember what the limit is now. Or the depth limit, I should say. But, uh, yeah, we still get a light flicker here in the high wind, so I don't know if it's clanging something on the substation that might cause a power drop. Someone said when they were coming back from Chrome and they saw a couple of really bright flashes in the sky. That would have been one of two things. It might have been a bit of lightning, you know, just a mild bit of static in the air flashing, or I think with this strong wind it's more likely that a couple of power lines were being blown and they were probably arcing. A, that'll cause a nice bright flash as well. And that'll also cause your lights to dim when they arc. Or 
in mum's case this is why they actually had a power cut this is where they were living three years ago before they moved in with me for six months um, what had happened they had the power cable that went from the power pole outside to their house it was just basically so worn the insulation was so worn on it from age and the weather that the wind was clanging the live and neutral together and it was just arcing and in the end it just sort of shorted out and no power was going to the house <laughs> so uh, yeah they had to have the electric company out uh, which is UK power networks now they keep changing contracts um, but they manage all the power network um, they don't supply the electric as such you know they're not like um, EDF energy or British gas or anything like that they don't supply you don't go to them to buy your electric they just maintain the network but anyway I need to go use the toilet so I'll be back later right what the hell was I going to say? Oh yeah! Oh. Can't believe I forgot in that short space of time. Well, actually, yes, I can. Uh, what I've been doing since the camera's been off is actually looking for my other tatty pair of headphones to use temporarily. Um, they used a 3.5mm jack, but what I was actually going to do is set up that instead of the subwoofer. Because um, these have headphone jacks on the front, or at least, yep, they both do. Uh, so I was going to set it up on a shelf down there and perhaps make a bit of space for a speaker up there and a speaker up on the shelf um, then should I get another USB set of headphones I could get a normal set of headphones with either the big jack whatever size they hang on I keep forgetting the lights are on there I've got adapters for that so that doesn't matter but I could either get 3.5 mil jack or headphones with the big jack, whatever size that is. But, even though I know I've got a pair of them somewhere, they're a bit taped up and taped together, but I kept them because they do still work. I just had to tape the headphones to the um, springy, brackety, bitty thing that goes over your head. <laughs> but uh, I can't find the damn things. Ever since I had that bloody clean up, I can't find them. Now I know that's something I wouldn't have thrown away. Just on the count of, you know, I want them as a spare, but I cannot remember for the life of me where the hell I put them. I've checked in various boxes found a use for that drawer <laughs> going off topic you know put all my bike lights in there out of bloody way so that's a box I can use for I don't know postage oh, I'll just message that guy in a little while and see if he's still interested in those cars because uh, I could fill that up with a bunch of cars and um, send that off Yeah, but I've got no idea where them poxy headphones are gone. Piss me off, because I just want to sit here with the headphones on and just chill to some music like I normally do, and I can't. Because I can't even resort to Plan B at the minute, because Plan B is nowhere to be found. <laughs> uh, see, I was actually as well thinking of... Um, Using those speakers through the amplifier, I'd have to take the plug connector off that I've put on them to connect them to the sub. Uh, but I don't know if that'll be too powerful. I don't know. It might, it might not. 
Uh, it's either that or I'll just have to suck it up and wait till Thursday and I can find a pair somewhere in town. Hopefully. I'll be freaking pissed off if I can't. Maybe Black Records might have something in there. You never know. And so, anyway. I felt like playing some GTA, so I'm going to play some GTA. Yeah, good. Um, oh yeah, my Windows 10 updated at stupid o'clock this morning. I think it decided to do it because I had my friend over yet last night and I don't think he left until about half past five. <laughs> so I went to bed really late but I was up my normal time so yeah, a bit tired. Well, that's not a bad thing because that means I should go to bed earlier tonight and have some sort of normal sleeping pattern back. Anyway, the computer was just idle as it is now and uh, suddenly restarted by itself and the friend said well, it was probably just updating. It's never done it on me before but it did update. So I've now got Cortana because it wasn't available before, not in this country, but uh, I managed despite being half asleep to sort Cortana out, I had to adjust a few language settings to uh, get her to work, but she does work. Uh, she's struggling to recognise some words, but it could be detecting interference humming from the uh, fans on the PC, which I have also taken a side cover off and just given that a vacuum out because it needed it. Just had a dust out. Um, or it could be my own pronunciation of some words that she's not quite understanding. But you can get language packs. Um, obviously, US English was the default, so I had to download UK English. Um, it's either that or I had to change all the location and everything to US, which would have been wrong because I'm in the UK. So I figured. For a quick download, it really didn't take long and it installs automatically, so I figured I might as well just download the language pack and set it up for my region. If you wonder what I'm doing, I'm still wandering around aimlessly trying to find those poxy headphones. Pretty certain I've put them in something. And the silly thing is, I can't remember what I put them in. I know they were in the land. In fact, they were down there, but they're not there now because I cleared most of the stuff up from down there. But I really cannot remember what I did with them. I a bag or something blown round over there. I wonder what the hell it was I could hear. I've, I thought I might have tossed them in here, but I've got these doors in the way now. Hang on, let me just. <coughs> I couldn't see them in here. I thought I no, I may have rolled them up and just laid them in here in something. Sure, I laid them in the top of something, and I thought, oh, I'll remember they're there when I want them. <laughs> no, I can't. Having a fucking laugh. I can barely remember what I did an hour ago, let alone remember where I put something. It's just an old infrared PIR sensor thing. Oh, I don't know. Grabbing hold of a light bulb to turn it off. That's not good because they're hot. What did I put it in? I checked the box in that little cupboard there. It's not in there. That's going to bug me till I find them. Yep, looks like a friend of mine's been messaging me with bloody essays. 
Is it going to focus in on the screen? No, it's not. It's just going to stay white. All right. All right then. If that's how it feels. No, they're not down in that lot. Oh, I don't know. They'll turn up. Maybe I can find them later. But I didn't get round to doing that BMX. Mostly because I couldn't be bothered <laughs> in the end. It's getting late and I just couldn't be bothered. I'll do it tomorrow. It's only a five minute job, pretty much. Um, oh, I got a message from the buyer of the kids' bike. They want to collect between, if I remember rightly, between 10 and 1 pm Wednesday. I think. Is it Wednesday? Or, cert or s sometime Thursday, but I thought Wednesday's fine. I'm flexible. Mostly because I do bugger all. That is the one thing that sucks about not having the job. You get bored really easy. <coughs> so I've got to put the tyre in that. Put the tyre in that. Put the tube in that. Which again is a five minute job. And I'll just make sure the um, gears are still functioning. I thought I might have laid them on here or something. I've even had the wash basket out in case I've done something daft and laid them in there. They're not in that bag. That's actually the bag of bits that I took over to Mum's at Christmas. I still haven't emptied it. <laughs> it's still all in the bag. do something stupid. I think I did actually. I think I've just remembered where I put them. I've got this fa horrible feeling they're in that tub there. Because I know I threw some... I hope not, because there's going to be a bitch to get to that. Uh, hang on a minute. Nope, not up there. What a bitch. What have I done with them? Didn't lay them in here, did I? No, I just found one of the um, remotes I was looking for. <coughs> I used to keep them in this middle, in this second drawer here, but. Not see them. They're not in here now. Ah. Don't they'll be in the computer cable drawer? Nope. Uh. I'll have a look tomorrow, but uh, oops, I'll shut the camera down for now and uh, probably turn it back on before I go to bed. No, I actually won't do that, I'll end the video now. Oh, I must have forget, I've got to go put the uh, bicycle in the shed, actually I think I'll do that now. So, uh, I will say goodbye, thanks for watching. As always, if you like the video and you want to subscribe, then please feel free to do that, and uh, I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.